This week on Geek Crash Course, we're covering The Legend of Korra, a sequel series so awesome, it's on fire! You're never gonna get tired of that, are you? Nope! Oh. The Legend of Korra takes place in a world where people are split into four tribes of benders who are people that can control the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. Korra is the Avatar, a person who can control all four elements. The series picks up 70 years after Avatar The Last Airbender, with that series' lead, Aang, now dead, and a new Avatar, Korra, having taken his place. Where Aang was a member of the Air Tribe, Korra is from the Water Tribe. In the 70 years since The Last Airbender, peace has formed between the various tribes, and they all live in harmony in Republic City, which resembles sort of a steampunk 1930s Manhattan meets Shanghai. Korra, already having mastered water, fire, and earthbending, heads to Republic City for the last stage of her training in airbending. When she arrives, she finds the dangerous equalists, led by the evil Amon, planning to equalize the divide between benders and non-benders by taking away people's powers. Along with a band of friends and allies, Korra must defend Republic City while trying to unlock her airbending abilities and her full avatar potential. <coughs> So far, The Legend of Korra has had an extremely impressive voice cast, including performances by J.K. Simmons, Lance Henriksen, Daniel Day Kim, Kieran Shipka, and Eva Marie Saint. The Legend of Korra, like the last airbender before it, is host to an ensemble of great characters, including... Korra, who's the lead of the series as well as being the current avatar. She's a headstrong young woman of the Water Tribe, working to find her place as the ultimate bender in a world questioning whether benders are even necessary anymore. Her animal companion is Naga, a polar bear dog. Mako is a firebender and the brooding type, who works at a local power plant and is a pro-bender along with his brother, Bolin. Bolin is Mako's brother, an earthbender and a fellow member of the Fire Ferret's pro-bending team, along with Mako and Korra. He's the comic relief type and is the caretaker of the Fire Ferret's pet mascot, Pabu. Asami Sato is the daughter of a Henry Ford-style industrialist. She is a non-bender and rival love interest for Mako, completing a sort of love square between the four, as well as rounding out the members of the new Team Avatar. Despite her lack of powers, she's a capable fighter, handy with equalist weapons like the electrified glove. Tenzin is Korra's even-tempered airbending teacher, as well as the son of Aang and Katara from the original series. He has a non-bender wife, Pema, and three airbender kids, Jinora, Iki, and Milo, with a fourth on the way. He also used to date Lin, the metal-bending police chief of Republic City and daughter of earthbender Toph from the original series. Together, they fight the evil Amon, mysterious leader of the Equalists, who has the apparent ability to rob people of their bending. Later in the series, the firebending general Iroh, son of Zuko from the original series, arrives to support Team Avatar in their fight against Amon. There are a whole host of other characters as well, but these are the big ones you need to know to get started. Who's your favorite Legend of Korra character? Let us know in the comments below. Mako is named for the actor of the same name who voiced the character of Iroh in the first two seasons of the original Avatar series before his death. General Iroh is also named in story in honor of Mako's character. The Legend of Korra was originally designed as a self-contained mini-series, so the 12 episodes contain almost no fat, resulting in a dense, complex, and rewarding story. Some say that the ending of the first season is rushed, but that doesn't make the journey any less worth it. Honestly, watch the show so far. You'll thank us. If you feel like deep diving into the world of Avatar, check out the three seasons of Avatar The Last Airbender as well. They go quickly, improve rapidly, and enhance the experience of watching Legend of Korra a lot. Voice actor Dee Bradley Baker voices many of the animals in the show, including polar bear dog Naga, fire ferret Pabu, and air bison Oogie. He also voices several human characters in the show, including Aang's son Bumi, nefarious politician Tarlock, and a variety of background characters. That's it for this week's Geek Crash Course. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. If you have any questions, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, or our website, geekcrashcourse.com. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on, on Geek, Geek Crash, Crash Course. Course. The camera! <laughs> People who can control the elements of air, fire, water, and wind. Quiet. Wait, that doesn't work. Air, fire, water, and wind. Two of those are the same thing. Cut. <laughs>